Hey everybody, Jeff here for POD Insights. Recently I did a video on setting up your store settings on the Printify platform, and today we're talking about the same topic for the Printful platform. So if you're working on setting up your Printful Etsy print-on-demand store, stick around. Let's get started. All right, let me just start by saying if you missed the video I did recently on setting up your store settings for Printify, I'll put a card right up in the top right-hand corner of the video so that you can go check that one out. If you are working on setting up your Printful settings, then stick around because that is what we're talking about today. We're going to see that some of the options we have for store settings should look familiar if you already did your Printify store setup in that we have options for shipping labels and order import and fulfillment settings. That is what I want to focus on first. So let me jump down under the settings menu on the left nav under into the orders section. And here we have a few options. The first option here is a one checkbox option to have your orders fulfilled at a backup facility if the primary facility is busy or facing staffing issues or delays. They do have a message here about COVID-19 because there has been a backup from time to time at some of their primary facilities, especially in uh, the U.S. over the last year. At the moment, it's April 2021 right now, and right now I haven't been experiencing too many delays with Printful at this point, but occasionally you may see an order fulfilled. Uh, say if, if it's an order in the U.S., you might see an order get fulfilled in their Mexico facility or something like that. If they're running into delays or staffing challenges with the primary fulfillment center that would normally be fulfilling uh, a particular order. So that is an option that if you don't want to have severe delays with an order, um, you want to have that checked so that the order can go get fulfilled at a different facility. Now, shipping might take a little bit longer because it's coming from somewhere else, but it's still better to get that order fulfilled in a timely manner and sent out the door, in my opinion. All right, for order import settings, you can choose just like you can with Printify to have your orders pushed into production automatically or have them fulfilled manually and I have mine currently set to automatic. This is an option um, that works just like it does for Printify with the exception that there is no selecting the print provider with Printful because remember Printful is the provider. They use their own network of fulfillment locations to, to uh, fulfill your orders. So you don't really have the whole order routing where it could go to different uh, fulfillment partners if somebody's out of stock. It's really just one choice. So in my opinion, Unless you do a ton of personalization and customization with your orders and you frequently make changes to them after the order is placed, putting them into automatic fulfillment is definitely a time saver. I do want to know also before I move on that on Printful, you can edit your orders as long as production has not started. So if you have an order that goes into production uh, that gets submitted automatically, but then you get a message from the customer that says, hey, I should have bought a different size. Can I change it or something like that? as long as the order has not gone into production. If it says waiting for fulfillment, if that's the status it's in, you can still edit the order with Printful, which is a nice benefit uh, because it means you're not locked in until that order actually goes in and starts getting fulfilled. Um, so even with the automatic order fulfillment setting there, you still do have a little bit of time to make updates if necessary. Next, we have some settings for syncing of products between Printful and your Etsy shop. If you have the first option selected to import existing products, it means when you create products on other platforms such as Printify, after a short amount of time, they will sync and you will be able to see them in your Printful dashboard when you go to your store on the Printful site. Now you have to choose if you do this, you, you may want to select to ignore those products so that you don't see them all on the actively synced product section, but orders will not import for those products as long as you don't check the second box here, which is to import unsynced orders. If you check this box off and say you have uh, you know, products with Printify in your Etsy shop as well, if you have these first two boxes checked off to import existing products and to sync uh, those orders of unsynced products, then those orders are going to show up for you in your Printful dashboard, even though Printful is not going to be fulfilling it. So I don't recommend importing unsynced orders. If you know that you've got a good setup going with Printify for some products, you don't want to see those orders over here in Printful and because it just kind of gets messy. There's also options for automatic stock updates, and that is an option so that you can have Printful automatically update your listing when certain sizes and or colors are out of stock, which is a nice feature. 
you can also have products automa automatically marked as shipped definitely and the way to go there is to have that one checked off because that means your order will be moved to complete on the Etsy side of things as soon as your order ships. The last one is very important if you sell personalized products. I'm going to be putting up a video very soon uh, uh, showing how to create and then process an order for a personalized item that you create with Printful. This is how Printful makes it very easy for you to personalize items that you sell on Etsy. This one checkbox here tells Printful that when an order comes in, if it's indicated as a personalized item on the listing, then Printful is not going to automatically push that one into production. It's going to hold it as a draft, giving you a chance to edit the print file, add the personalization that the customer requested, and then manually send it into fulfillment. That will happen even if you have selected the automatically confirm orders to be fulfilled option under the import settings up at the top. So all of your orders will automatically go into fulfillment, except for the ones that come through and that indicate that they're a personalized item. The last option under orders is for product alternatives. This is similar to an option that you have on Printify where you can have your order fulfilled uh, with a different product if the one you normally sell is out of stock. They will charge you the same price as your normal product and they will cover the difference if the item that they're using to fulfill costs more and they will actually pay you the difference if the item they're using to fulfill costs less. So really the only thing that you need to consider here is whether you want in order to go out the door with a different product than what you showed your customer on the Etsy listing. Even though they're making it financially very reasonable here, you still have to ask yourself if you're comfortable with a customer receiving a different item than what you advertised. And that is it for the options, uh, your store settings on the orders section. Next, we are gonna jump over to talk about the customized packing slip that Printful offers. The packing slip option that Printful offers is something that is somewhat unique for Printful and not an option that you have with Printify. Because Printful is integrated and they own their fulfillment centers, they do give you the option to do some things that some other providers uh, do not, at least not in the print on demand space. One of those things is to customize your packing slip. So they put a packing slip in each of your customer's orders and they give you the option to add some of your own branding and messaging to uh, your customers. So for example, when we go to the packing slip section over here under our settings on the main navigation, you'll see that you have the option to upload a logo into the branding section here. They're looking for, it's gonna be a three inch by two inch and it's going to be black and white because it comes off of a laser printer. So any color photo you upload, just keep that in mind. You probably don't wanna upload something that's a super dark color like my POD Insights logo because it'll come out kind of looking like this from the laser printer. Uh, you're better off with something that just has your logo, perhaps on a transparent background, it'll look a little bit nicer. But this is a nice option to have your brand on the packing slip for free. There's no charge for this. Um, and so that's a nice option that uh, that Printful offers for you. They also offer you the ability to put a contact email address and a contact phone number on the packing slip, as well as a custom packing slip message. This is the same way that they're able to offer you gift messages on your orders because you can change the uh, packing slip message for each order. So. Uh, I do want to point out that this is the default message that will print on all of your packing slips if you enter something here, but you do have the ability on individual orders to add a gift message by editing that before the order is fulfilled. So if you want to offer gift messages, Printful definitely gives you that option where Printify currently does not. One other thing I want to point out here about the email and phone options, I actually don't recommend you have these filled in, especially if you're only selling through Etsy because Etsy offers the messaging service basically built into the Etsy platform where customers can message you back and forth. And my opinion is it's just easier for you to manage if your messages with customers are on the Etsy platform and not some going to an email address for your business outside of Etsy and some going through Etsy because you'll always have customers that send you questions or, or things like that through Etsy. And if you provide an email address here on your packing slip, 
that is outside of Etsy, you may start getting messages there as well, and then you'll just have to manage both. So what I like to do is on the packing slip, I like to tell my customers, if you have any questions or issues, don't hesitate to reach out to us through the Etsy site. So I'm encouraging customers to contact me through Etsy on the packing slip rather than give a separate email address. All right, the last thing I want to point out about your Printful shop settings is actually something you don't necessarily need to do anything with, but just to be aware of. They have a return address setting for your shop, and if you don't have a P.O. box where you receive mail and packages for your business, you're going to want to just leave this as the default setting and not change it. However, if you do have a P.O. box or address for your business where you receive mail and packages, you can go into the return address setting under the settings option on your navigation and use the change address button to enter that separate address that you have for your business. If you don't do that, the default is actually a pretty helpful policy that, again, this kind of sets Printful apart a little bit and is just one of the benefits of having a company that is integrated and owns their fulfillment centers because what they do for you is they will hold a return uh, for 28 days at no cost to you and that gives you time to update the shipping address and have it sent back out now of course you're going to pay for the second shipping if that happens then you do have the ability to wait for tw up to 28 days work to message that customer get an updated or corrected address and have it sent back out all right, that's it for reviewing the store settings on the Printful platform for your Etsy print on demand store. Give me a like to help out the YouTube algorithm if you found this video helpful and subscribe to the POD Insights channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.